What is up, my fellow Net Dwellers? Couchman here. We're doing another modding in five minutes or less. This time we're looking at Fallout 3 obtained via Game Pass. Make sure you use bats and crit that like button, comment down below on your favorite Fallout game, and subscribe to the channel for more weekly modding content. Now let's jump into it. First of all, here's the vanilla state. Specific, we're going to be using a texture replacer for the female form. Uh, specifically the type 4 female body and armor replacer. Anyways, this is the basic one. Let's go ahead and get to work on modding this. Now to mod this, I'm going to be using FL Mod Manager. So, yeah. Our first step is always, this game supports mods. You're going to need to enable mods. I've already done that here. We're then going to copy the English version. I'm going to delete this guy real quick because this is my previous one. And we're going to go ahead and paste it here. All right, next we're going to go ahead and use Fallout Mod Manager. The reason we're specifically using Fallout Mod Manager is the fact that uh, archive invalidation, whenever you're trying to use the program version, sorry, archive invalidation and validation, whenever you're trying to use the default program launcher and you point it to this folder, it can't figure out that it's actually a Fallout game. Don't know why. Next. If you go with the manual option, I just couldn't get it to actually use the archive and validation to go ahead and kick up and utilize the, well, kick through and go ahead and actually invalidate and use the textures. So that's why we're using Fallout Mod Manager. You're just gonna come out to Fallout Mod Manager. I'm gonna have a link over in the description of this. So snag here, go ahead and download it. It'll download as an executable. We're gonna go ahead and run it. And we're gonna go ahead and just do next, install. And it'll go ahead and just create a folder on your desktop. We're gonna go ahead and launch it. All right. Now we've got all these enabled. If they're not currently enabled, go ahead and enable them. Our next step is we need to actually get our mod working, which is the type B armor replacer here. So what we're gonna do is we're actually going to need to extract this because I haven't been able to get this to actually work with the zip file quite yet. So we're going to go ahead and extract files. Well, we're just gonna do an extract here. Hope that worked. Nope. Okay, let's go ahead and go extract files. We're going to just tell it to go ahead and make a new folder. There we go. So now that we've got this type 5 body replacer, we're going to go ahead and go into the package manager on our Fallout Mod Manager. We're going to do a create from folder. We're going to go into our downloads. And we're going to snag that type 4 body replacer and go ahead and click OK. Next is we're going to go ahead and click it. We're going to activate it. And now that we've activated it, this next step is important. Do not miss doing this. We're going to go into tools. And you're going to turn on archive and validation. It doesn't come turned on. This is because I did some previous steps. All right, now just to confirm it worked, let's go ahead and launch from the Fallout 3 EXE here. Load the small ranch, and if this works, we should see Lady Butt. There we go. Thanks for watching the video. If you have any suggestions on other games or mods that you'd like to see on the channel, please message me on Twitter at CouchCommand, that's CouchCMD, or feel free to hit me up in my Discord, links at the top of my channel page. Hit that like button if you are the savior of the wasteland. Tell me down in the comments on your favorite Fallout game, and finally, hit the subscribe button to get more of my weekly modding content. This was CouchCommand. You all have a good night, a great tomorrow, and amazing rest of the week. I'll see you next time.